Hi, I'm Joy and this is Yoga with Joy. Welcome to my channel. We're focusing on Vishuddhi today. So that's the throat chakra, back of the neck, around the front of the neck. So this, this chakra is called purification. You can imagine the color blue. And it's about self-expression, authentic communication, really voicing, really voicing our truth and how we are. We can do that with softness and kindness as well. So, yeah, so really, it's quite a, quite a thoughtful practice. And um, we do get physical as well, so there will be stretches and all the rest of it, but it's, yeah, just really starting to focus on the, the higher chakras as we move up from the heart, the final three chakras. Okay, we're coming a little bit closer to the, the connect, our connection with the whole universe. So starting to get a little bit more, yeah, esoteric. <laughs> um, so today you might want some props, so it's up to you. You might use block or something like that. Um, I only use a blanket in this practice, so just to sit on. And that's about it. So see you soon and let's have a lovely practice together. <laughs> So make your way into a comfortable seated position using any blocks or pillow or blanket that you need. And then with your eyes closed, start to notice how you are today. So bringing your awareness into your body, to your breath. And with your hands together in Anjali Mudra, bring them up to the throat area. So this is the mudra for Vishuddhi, your throat chakra. And you can rest your chin on your fingertips if you wish, that's quite comfortable. Relaxing your shoulders and elbows. And take some time to bring your awareness to this area. Very around the throat and the back of the neck. So thinking of your, th your throat being your, your physical throat and your voice box and your windpipe. This is the area of authentic communication of self-expression. Of really voicing to the world who you are. Speaking your truth. Whatever truth that is. It's always important to know that there's, there is a divine, innate truth and our opinions and thoughts and ideas and belief systems. It's not necessarily actually our truth. But being able to voice just what you, your needs and yeah, who you are is super important as well. This place, Vishuddhi, the throat chakra, 
is known as purification. So it's where our, the air comes into our body and purifies our blood, keeps us alive, and it leaves our body. Giving and receiving from this place of the throat. The element is ether. It's not tangible. Beginning to become, we're in the higher chakras now. Beginning to become closer to the spirit realms, to the place of our connection to everything, our innate being. And to begin our practice together, let's chant the mantra for Vishuddhi. Hum. Hum. So we'll chant that three times to begin. Um. Um. Gently opening your eyes and releasing the hands down. And we'll find our way into our backs, lying down. And so your knees can face up towards the sky and your feet down towards the earth. And with the hands down by the sides. Taking a breath in and a deep breath out. One more breath here. Feeling the breath in expand the whole of the torso. And as you breathe out, gently moving back towards the spine. That's great. And we'll Exhale ourselves up into just a little gentle pelvic tilt. Take a breath in and then exhale back down. So we're lifting up the pelvic floor as we do so on the exhale. Breathing in to prepare and then exhale. Lift up the pelvis. Remember your toes can be soft on the mat. So lift them up and place them down. And then exhale back down. Just as we did at the beginning of the series, gently rocking the pelvis in the tilt here. Exhaling up. And inhale down. Exhale. Take a breath in, sorry, not inhale down. And then inhale down. I mean, exhale down. Exhale up, breath in, and exhale down. Okay, muddled up with my breathing. Breath in, and then coming up a little bit further, so about to the bottom of the ribs. Breath in, and then exhale down, making sure that your knees are hip width apart. Breath in, exhale up and up to your shoulder blades. Breath in and then one vertebra at a time down onto the mat. Fantastic. Breathing in, pelvic floor lifting up. And then bring yourself back up onto your shoulders. And take a breath here, a full breath cycle. 
breath in. And then exhale, placing one vertebrae at a time down onto the mat. Breathing in. Exhale, lifting up. Breath in, and then we're going to bring in the arms. So lifting up the arms, exhale. Take a breath or two here, really feeling in the throat. So with the arms up, it'll be stronger in the throat. Breath in, exhale, the arms and the spine back down together. Wonderful. One more time. Now, if you feel like it's strong on your back, you can place a block underneath and hold yourself up and just rest there if you wish. Otherwise, you don't need to. I mean, it helps with the arms, but you don't need to move the arms if it's too much. Breath in. Exhale up, peeling your vertebrae off the mat. Breath in. Exhale, hands above the head. And a couple of breaths here, really lifts, lifting up your pelvis and feeling the breathing in your throat. Take a breath. Inhale and then exhale. Bringing the body and the hands back down onto the mat. It's wonderful. And then bringing the knees into the chest, having a little rock from side to side. Focusing on the throat all the time as we work with this practice. In the back of the neck. And then bring the hands onto the knees and just rock a sacrum on the mat. So you're in the lower spine. So you're bringing your knees in towards you and you're encircling them together. Your knees closed and you're circling them one way together. Exhale them towards you. Inhale away and then the other direction. Lovely circles round. That's great. <laughs> Good, then back to stillness. Then placing your feet down, bring your arms out. And we're going to come into a stronger twist. So with your arms out, lift up the hips and then place them a couple of inches over to the right. Lift up the right leg and place over your left leg. So if this twist is a bit too much for you, then you don't have to place the right leg over the left leg because it makes it a bit stronger. So you can just fall over to the, make, allow them to come over to the side. So see how that is. But if you're doing it, the, the, um, the crossed legs, you can lift up the right leg and then allow both legs to go over to the side. That's lovely. It's much stronger on your, your outer hip. And then looking over the right side. So you're looking over your right arm, making sure that your right shoulder is still on the mat. So if you're twisting very far over, it might lift up the right shoulder. So be careful to keep it onto the mat. So just reduce the twist a bit. Really focusing on your throat with your ujjayi breath. So a strong throaty breath. Slightly constricting the back of the throat. And then exhale the head back up. Bring the legs up and then lift up the hips and placing them back to neutral. And then with your feet in line with your hips, lift up the hips again. And then over to the left a couple of inches and then lift up. If you're doing this, you lift up the left leg and you cross the leg over the right and then falling over to the side. That's nice. Twisting, stretching all the way down here, down the side body, down your outer hip 
and then looking out over your left hand and focusing on your breath in the throat. Deep Ujjayi breath. So you're feeling the breath like the ocean waves on the shore. Your mouth closed, you're breathing into the nose and out through the nose. And then gently bring yourself back up, place the feet back down and lift up the hips and back to centre. It's wonderful, great. Okay, so we're going to be coming into the plow posture, so halasana. So this is not something that I do very often in, in yoga videos because I just want, whenever I'm teaching this, I want everyone to be really careful of the back of the neck, really just careful and listen to your body. And just, if you need to, watch me first if you don't know this posture. Because we're going to be coming onto the back, onto the backs of our neck, on our head and back of the necks and on shoulders. So really focusing on your throat. So Vishuddhi, our chakra, throat chakra, the back of the neck and the front of the neck. And really focus, take, make the focus here. So physically, we're lifting up the legs and bringing them behind. And so just come as far as you can and you can use the hands to support you or you can clasp them and keep them long. The arms can be long underneath you. So taking a breath in and then exhale, lifting up. And you might just come as far as this, that's fine. Focusing on your throat. Otherwise, if you can, hopefully my audio is okay, you come back and you can place your feet, your toes, touching the mat behind or the floor behind. And you can keep your hands as I've got them, which is flat with the palms down on the mat, or you can clasp your hands together. That's quite nice as well, because it's stronger. Otherwise, you can hold your back. So focusing on the throat chakra. Gently breathing deeply through the nose. And then lifting yourself up, holding your back, see your lumbar area, and then gently bringing yourself back down and bring the legs back down, placing the feet down to make it a bit gentler, and then placing your hands, your palms down underneath your hips and bring your hips, the sacrum area down onto your hands. And then gently lift up. We're going to come into Matsyasana, the fish pose. So again, thinking of the throat. So only do this if your back of the neck is okay with it. So if you find it's hard to put your back of your neck back, then opt out of this one and of the plow. So we inhale and then exhale down and you're stre really focusing on opening up the throat here. So halasana, the plow, we're closing the throat in this one, we're opening the throat. Being careful of your back of your neck again, remember. Deep breaths here. Through the nose. And then gently bring your head up, being careful of your neck. And then lying down on the mat and bring your knees into the chest and having a rock around. Fantastic, that's great. And then we'll bring ourselves up by bringing our 
feet, see if you can do this, where you cross your legs like this and then you hold your toes and we're just gently bring ourselves up like this. So if that's too tricky, then just come up on the side and that's fine. Okay, so coming back into seated and I'm going to use my blanket again because we're going to do a little bit of pranayama breathing, focusing on that, our throat area, this whole chakra area here. <sighs> so making yourself comfortable, bringing Anjali Mudra to the throat once more. And taking a few breath cycles of Ujjayi breath. Deep throaty breath. It's a wonderful one for clearing the nasal passages, this one. Focusing on your self-expression, your authentic communication. And cleansing and purifying the body. And then releasing the mudra down, just placing your hands somewhere comfortable on your lap. So we're going to go through um, the pranayama breath briefly. We won't be spending so too long on it, but I'll explain how the breathing goes. So we're starting with your pharynx, which is your throat. And then we'll breathe in um, to the larynx, which is your voice box. So really bringing the breath lower down and feel how it changes into your voice box. But then you're focusing on your uh, trachea area, which is your windpipe. So um, that's, so focusing down and you can, you'll feel your lungs more, your lungs will be opening more. It's, it's a slow progression down and it's subtle, but it, you can, yeah, you can really feel it. So, okay, so with the pharynx, it's in for two, hold for two, out for two, and with the larynx, it's in for three, hold for two, and out for three. And with the trachea, it's in for four, hold for two, out for four. So, might sound complicated, but it's actually not too bad. So we'll just do a couple of each, thinking of your throat, breathing out. And you can do this with your eyes closed. Breathing in for two, one, two. Hold for two, one, two. Out for two, one, two. In for two, one, two. Hold, one, two. Out, one, two. And then breathing in and breathing out. Did you notice that in your throat area? Now we'll breathe into the voice box. So in for three. Exhale. <laughs> Breathing in. One, two, three. Hold for two. One, two. Out for three. One, two, three. In for three. One. Two, three, hold for two, one, two, out, one, two, three. And take a couple of breaths. Did you notice that in your voice box? And then moving down to your windpipe, your trachea. In for four, so exhale. Breathing in for four. One, two, three, four. Hold for two, one, two. Out for four, one, two, three, four. In, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, out. One, two, three, four. 
And then breath in and take a couple of breaths. Did you notice that down here? Feels a bit more open in your chest as you move down. So hopefully you're feeling lovely and open in your throat area in that chakra. And just to finish it off, we're going to bring in um, the lion breath, Simhasa. So with lion breath, we're really imagining or just thinking about or um, really focusing on expressing ourselves. So allowing all of anything you feel like you've held in or you just haven't been able to say. And sometimes it's people pleasing. Sometimes it's, you know, a deep fear. But just let all of that out with this breath. So with lion's breath, we can bring up our arms and we can actually have our lion's claws so we can actually get a bit expressive with it. So bring up arms and then coming forward, out comes the tongue and you really go for it, like stretch out your mouth and you're just really just chucking it out there. So opening up, so you lift up and then you come down. So just really enjoy the enjoy the expression this area so really focusing on yeah focusing on whatever you've been holding in and it's often can feel it in our throat we can often feel the restriction in our throat silenced in some way so taking a deep breath in really lovely and deep into the whole body here so whole of the upper body so breathing out and then breath in Lifting up the arms. Breath in. Getting out all your stale air. Inhale. And then bring yourself back up. Lovely. So I hope you looked as terrible as I did. The whole thing is just to not even care. It's like... <laughs> That's great. So it could be quite scary if you've got kids around. <laughs> or animals. Okay, so then resting here. And really focusing. Just have a focus on how that feels. It's quite strong. Strong in the throat. And take a couple of deep breaths. And then opening up the eyes if you have your eyes closed. And then gently moving your head over to the side. And then forward and over to the other side. Exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale. That's brilliant. Deep breaths. Wonderful. And then bring the head back to center and then over to the side. So the ear is going down towards the shoulders, keeping the shoulders relaxed. You can bring your hand out if you wish, the opposite hand. Inhale up and then over to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale over. Inhale and then exhale over. That's great. Breath in and bring yourself up. And then looking down at your feet, exhale down. Inhale as you come up. And then exhale over to the side. And down. Inhaling. And then exhaling. So you're taking your head rolls neck rotations and then looking down at your feet again and the other way it's wonderful and 
and then down, and then bring yourself back on the inhale. Fantastic. Okay, let's roll the shoulders. Deep breath. Should be feeling quite able to breathe now with these deep breaths. And then back the other way. That's great. Lovely. And then releasing the hands down. It's fantastic. That's good. And then we're going to release the sitting position. So we'll, if you're sitting on anything, you can take that away. And then bring yourself onto all fours. And focusing on your neck area, start in a um, tabletop position so that you're... you're You've got a, a rather straight-ish <laughs> line running from your coccyx sacrum all the way to the crown of the head. So your neck is an extension of your spine. And then focusing on Vishuddhi, the throat chakra. Inhaling up, upward cat. Exhaling down. And your throat is going back towards your knees. Inhale, your throat is opening up. Exhale. Inhale, expressing yourself. Then exhale. Gentle humility. Bring yourself inward. Now up and exhale down. And as you exhale, you can always lift up Mulabanda, your root lock, pelvic floor. Inhale up and then back to centre. And then lifting up the right arm and the left leg, focusing again. Abdominal muscles, obviously, but you're also in your throat. So thinking about the breathing, flexing the left foot. Some deep breaths as you look down at the mat. And then exhale down. Very important to have your abs, abs and your pelvic floor engaged. And then lift up the left, uh, the right leg and the left arm. Deep breaths. Looking down at the mat. Flexing the right foot. And then exhaling the leg down. And then back into child. Deep, full breaths. Resting here in child with an extended... Your, your knees at the side of the mat and your feet together. Your arms stretched out, extended child pose, Balasana. And then gently walk the arms over to the left, stretching out the side of your body, the right side. And then walking the hands forward and then over to the right, stretching up the left. And then back to centre. And bring your knees back to hip widths. Inhale up in upward cat. Exhale back, turning the toes around and coming into half downward dog, bent knees, encouraging your throat back towards your feet. Lifting up into a cute dog, so really on tiptoes. And then exhale your feet down. You can see you can do alternate heels, 
down one at a time. Encouraging your throat back towards your feet. And then lifting up your right leg so that the foot is facing the floor, so your, you, so your hips are in line with each other. And then gently sweeping through your right leg and you can lower your left knee down, placing the left hand down and lift up the right hand, opening up your throat and your neck. Deep Ujjayi breath. Then bring your hand down and facing forward, lifting up the back foot. So you're coming into high lunge, but if you want to stay in low lunge, please do. And you can place a blanket or cushion or something under your knee if you wish. Bring the hands to the throat. Deep breaths in the throat. Opening up, speaking your truth. Maybe this is a moment of affirmation, confirmation of how you can and will speak your truth. And if you've been someone who hasn't spoken up much in your life, you can really... Accept that you're, yeah, take on the, take on the challenge that you're going to do it from now on. And it can be done with kindness, gentleness, care for others. And then bringing the back leg down. Inhale forward. And then exhale back into child. This time the... The heels can be, sorry, the heels, the knees can be hip width apart. And then inhale up. Exhale back into downward dog. So encouraging your throat back towards your feet. Deep breaths, lifting up the left leg so that the hips are in line with each other. And then bringing the left leg forward, lowering the right knee down, placing the right hand down and lifting up the left. Coming into the twists, focusing on your throat chakra for Shudi. And then bringing your left hand down. Inhale, looking forward. And then if you're, if you're coming up, bring your, yourself up into a high lunge, turning the toes round. And then coming up with your knee over your ankle. And bring your hands in Anjali Mudra at the throat. And it is wonderful to know that even if we're voicing our truth or voicing, being more outspoken and, and just being more confident in what we say, it can be done with such gentleness. And we don't need to shout. We can just be ourselves, be our beautiful selves. Opening up and taking the messages from the universe, so really following our intuition as well. What feels right to how, how to voice things, what to voice. And 
and then hands back down to the throat and then down, hands down either side and then lowering the right knee down, bringing the left knee back and then we'll come, rather than child this time, we'll come down into puppy pose. So we've got our knees hip width apart and we'll bring ourselves down and focusing on the throat. So even if you've got your forehead on the mat, because your forearms will be on the mat, but you can also have your chin on the mat, but you're really focusing on your throat area. Whatever's more comfortable. You can imagine a blue colour here if you wish. That's the favourite colour for this chakra. And then gently bring yourself back, downward dog. And then lowering the knees down and then lowering the chest and the chin down into Ashtangasana, which is an eight point posture. So it's feet, knees, hands, chest and chin, eight points on the mat. And taking breaths here at the throat. And your hips are in the air. And then bringing yourself down. And then we'll come up into Cobra, Bhujangasana, with your hands, your shoulders, your elbows in at the side. Take a breath in. And either come up into Baby Cobra or Small Cobra here, Low Cobra, uh, or up into High Cobra, opening up the chest and opening up the throat. Take a few breaths. And then exhale down, turn the toes around onto the knees and then back into downward facing dog. And then bring yourself through and coming into a seated position to finish off our practice together. So sitting here for a moment of stillness. Bring your hands to your throat. In prayer, Anjali. And then taking this moment to reflect on how this practice has been for you, what you feel you'll take away from this practice. Check in with your throat and your neck and if you're feeling any more open in that area. Focusing on your self-expression authentic communication, purification. So to close together, we'll chant the mantra hum three times. Breathing in.
wonderful to have you. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, that really helps. And you can press the little notification bell. And it lets you know when I'm uploading new videos. And yeah, of course, if you like this video, please press like. And I'd love to hear how, you, how it was for you. So you can leave a comment. Um, yeah, and see you next time.